Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated in Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. This morning, I have the honor of introducing you to my grandson, Kent William Zimmerman, number three. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you as the parents, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin, and if so, you too say, I do. Do you accept the freedom and the power that God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they may present themselves, and if so, I do. And I'm going to incorporate the congregation in this question. Through your baptism, we are incorporated by the Holy Spirit into God's new creation and made to share in Christ's royal priesthood. We are all one in Christ Jesus. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome into the family of Christ. Do you as parents and you as congregation confess Jesus Christ as your Savior? Put your whole trust in His grace and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. Amen. Will you nurture Zim in Christ's holy church that by your teaching and example they may be guided to accept God's grace for Himself to profess His faith openly and lead to a Christian life? And if so, I do. Do you as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? And if so, say, we do. We do. <laughs> it is all about you. <laughs> to the congregation, we nurture one another in the Christian faith and the Christian life that includes Zim in your care. We do. through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land in which you promised. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, <coughs> nurtured in the water of the womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and allow this blessing to wash away all sin and clothe him in righteousness throughout his life, that dying and being raised with Christ, he may share in Christ's final victory. All praise to you, Eternal Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, 
who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever. Amen. 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 turning point but the kingdom of God your new family. Will you say hello to everyone? Where's my mom? This is Sam. Thank <laughs> you. 